Now, this is uh, quite a hot topic. In fact, we've been uh, canvassing your thoughts on it as well. We'll hear some of those in a minute or two. But uh, graffiti, is it just vandalism or something more? Many public bodies are losing their suspicion of the spray can and asking graffiti artists to turn their buildings into works of art. But the criminal damage element hasn't gone away. One council says two graffiti writers have cost them £100,000 in just six months. Case and SO12, whoever they are, have plastered thousands of tags across Leicester since last autumn. And the council's now offering £500 for information about their identities. Callum Watkinson reports. Case strikes again. This is one of two graffiti tags that have appeared all over Leicester in the last six months. Their authors don't show much artistic prowess, but they're prolific, keeping the council's graffiti busters busy and blowing away two-fifths of their entire annual budget. We spend um, nearly a quarter of a million pounds a year on cleaning graffiti, but on these two tags alone since September, it's cost us nearly £100,000. It can really damage um, the pride people have, rightly, in where they live. It really blights an area. Does it always? Or can it sometimes improve a forbidding urban landscape? For those on the inside of this underground culture, there's a big difference between scribbling on a bus stop and the serious art form they aim to perfect. Tagging's less about the art, more about not notoriety, getting up as we call it. What I do requires a lot more time, better lighting conditions, so I can't do it what I'd want to do illegally. Those responsible for our public spaces are realising the talent of some graffiti artists is something to promote rather than prosecute. Councils realise that if they just paint a wall blank, it's going to get tags on it, whereas if you actually let graffiti artists do something decent, it might stay and look better anyway. A point not lost on the charity that manages this cycle track. What at first glance might look like an act of vandalism is actually two professional artists at work. As far as I'm concerned, it's an art form. It's free form, free hand painting with a, an aerosol can. Obviously, we asked for permission. From my experience, the majority of people were quite prepared to let you paint walls anyway to brighten the, the area up, the community up. He's been doing some work on three of the bridges over the cycle track that goes through New York, which have really you know, raised the image around them. It really, it made it really attractive from what was a very dingy, rather bleak bridges, bare concrete. He's managed to make people come to actually look at. What you think of graffiti in the end comes down to whether you're more offended by criminal damage than you are impressed by what some can do with a set of spray cans. Sometimes it's just vandalism, Sometimes it's just art. But much of the graffiti that you'll see is both. Callum Watkinson, ITV News.